All right, today we're going to be taking this apart. This is an old power bank. The uh, USB connector on it broke, and it's pretty impossible to use now, so I think I'll use this for some other project. Um, I didn't see any real obvious way to get this open, so I just kind of cut around the uh, that lip. Had one of these. Now it's just a gap, so hopefully this will actually come apart. The uh, aluminum pieces on the outside are twisting. Now these are pretty cheap when I bought them. They're like six bucks or something like that. They're on sale because they were discontinued. But uh, hopefully, I can actually get it apart. Might take a bit of effort though. I'll come back here in a second. All right, so I got it apart here. I kind of had to cut both ends of this off and the, uh, the lens for the LED that was on the other end is still stuck in there. A um, little kind of actually reasonably thick aluminum uh, housing for it there. Uh, and some tape and insulation stuff that was on the battery here, which is actually a Samsung branded 18650 though uh, Interesting to note that I can actually see some numbers that are underneath this outer green layer It makes me think that they almost put like another layer on top of it, but uh, this was a RAV power uh, unit yeah, It says somewhere yeah RAV power which is a pretty good brand in the industry of uh, power banks, so Anyhow, it probably is a Samsung branded one, <coughs> or a real Samsung, I mean. Uh, we've got the board over here, we've got that broken USB port, which I probably could replace, but I can't really put it back in this case. So, uh, anyhow, we've got the micro USB port on the bottom, we've got a couple of chips here. Uh, and I'll show some bigger pictures of this, and we'll talk a little bit about what the chips are. But, uh, anyway, that, and then these two wires went off to this LED, which... I always was pretty surprised at how bright the LED was in this. It's uh, actually a pretty good flashlight, and this kind of explains why. This is one of these, uh, sort of, I think, I, I'm going to guess it's a 1 watt LED uh, that's got that sort of star type uh, pattern to it, which is conveniently basically the exact same size as an 18650. <clears throat> uh, and it was just stuck on like that little sticky pad there, and then this had a white thing over it for the reflector. And then that reflector met up with the LED, like so. So let's go ahead and take a look at this board a little bit closer. All right, OBS might not be uh, too happy about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some recording on the laptop here. So anyhow, this device is the CN5728, which is a constant current LED driver. Presumably it has the different modes for uh, the flashing and the uh, high and low power modes. Now if we flip this over, we also have these two devices, these 8205S devices. Those are just in-channel MOSFETs with a fairly low uh, on resistance and fairly low gate voltage. So those uh, are probably just you know turning things on and off. That's what you expect it to be. This little thing here, I could not actually find any information on. Uh, this is one of those things where if you Google it, it just doesn't come up with any information. But it looks like it says LE3JF. I do think I have a better picture than this somewhere. But uh, anyhow, couldn't find anything on that. Possibly battery protection circuit, I see. Uh, though there is another one on the other side of the board that could also be doing the same thing. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so this side of the board's got the diode, the inductor, but it also has this chip up here, which appears to say 606A on it, or well, it also says uh, uh, H601. So I'll see if I can find any info on that. Well, search results for 606A don't seem to really come up with a whole lot. The only thing there is is a mean well power supply, which is like the entire power supply. And the other one was, what, 601? H601, that doesn't seem to come up with anything either. And I don't know what that logo is. But uh, we can try 601H again, or H601, and see if we get anything. Um, Optocouplers, thermistors. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the part that's... Well, one of those six-pin devices is probably the uh, uh, the battery protection circuitry. One of them could be for something else. 
All right, so another chip on here is this guy. This is the XT2051, which is a one amp, uh, compatible with the USB interface, a linear battery management chip. So this will be basically just the charge chip, hence why it's right by that uh, USB connector here. It would also make sense that this one is the uh, LED controller chip, considering the button for the LED control is right there. Well, this thing here is for sure the battery charging chip, though it may not be the protection chip. Uh, this thing here could still be the protection chip or uh, the other chip that was on the back of the board, though one of those is probably there for the uh, conversion. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say that this is probably the battery management chip, and then the one on the other side is the chip for the boost converter, though for some reason I can't seem to find information on those two chips. So, uh, anyway, that's what's inside this thing. And I'm probably going to put this into service doing something else that requires 5 volts of power and a battery. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed this look at the inside of a RAV Power power bank. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.